What's up guys? Welcome to the short introduction video on this. This is the brand new Persec Gear foam board and we just kind of wanted to put a little something together just showing some of the features as well as cover some of the basics for installation and setup. So with that we're just going to jump straight on in. Uh, when it arrives here you're obviously going to get yourself the foam board but you're also going to get these two two inch strips of adhesive back velcro as well as you're also going to get two sections of one wrap. A little later in the video, we're going to cover on how to get this Velcro onto your phone and also the when and where you may possibly want to use this one wrap. But for now, we're just going to turn our attention back to the board itself. So when it comes to you, it's going to be fully assembled. All of the hardware has been treated with blue Loctite. Uh, as you're looking at it right now, it's in its stowed position. Uh, to get inside, it's just a matter of manipulating this toggle and bungee setup up top. So all you want to do is just get it over top of the T-post and that will allow you to get in. Uh, one of the things you're going to notice, you're going to get 180 degrees of articulation out of that hinge. And uh, you'll also notice that there is no sound and it is completely stepless, uh, which is great for, you know, completing any tasks that you need to do. And, you know, some of the hinges kind of force you into a particular detent. This one doesn't do it. Uh, the tension is adjusted through this screw right here. So just using a standard Phillips head screwdriver, you can just go in and turn it to the right to tighten it to give yourself more uh, retention or tension. And likewise, if you turn it to the left, it will loosen up. Um, that's great for depending on whatever phone you're going to be putting on there. So you can just go in and find out uh, exactly how much force you want to have this thing open and close for you. Uh, so now that we sort of covered just the basics of what this is, it's just now a matter of time and getting it mounted to something. So for today's purposes, we're going to be using this. This is just a full molly fronted micro chest rig. Um, it's an important thing to note, but you just want to make sure that whatever you're mounting it to, you're going to have enough real estate. Uh, the minimum requirements for this is that you need two rows and four columns. And as we can see on this chest rig, we've got three uh, rows and we've also got six columns. So we've got more than enough real estate on this thing to mount this. In fact, it would allow us to sort of mount this in multiple positions. Um, but for today, we're just simply going to mount it on, this, uh, on these two sections in the center. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, it's just a matter of getting all four of these ears underneath the molly sections that we want it to be installed with. Um, the best way I found to do this is to start on these bottom pieces and all you really want to do is just kind of to get these hook sections started and just kind of get them in to say I don't know about one third of the way. Uh, I'll open that up so you can see a little better. Now once you've got to that point uh, then you can sort of manipulate these top ears behind this piece of webbing. So we'll just get that in and then likewise you want to do the same on the other side. Uh, as you can see all four pieces have started. Once you're here it's just a matter of walking uh, this thing into place and you just want to make sure that on the bottom that these hooks uh, are protruded outside of the bottom of this section of webbing uh, just so it kind of looks like that. Once you've seen that and all four pieces are in, then this thing is installed. Um, you may just want to go in and just grab that bungee, uh, the tail of the bungee that is. I'm just going to pull that out because if you just need to adjust the, uh, the amount, the tension on here, uh, just having this at the bottom, just there's no hang ups on it so you can easily adjust it. Now, uh, this is where the pieces of one wrap are going to come into place. Uh, and this, as you see it installed, uh, it is in there really well. The chances of that coming out are going to be pretty slim. But just for an extra insurance uh, or an extra peace of mind, we've included these two pieces of one wrap. Um, you can install these by just simply tucking them in behind the ears here. And I'm just going to grab the screwdriver just to pull them up and out. I'm just going to do the same on the other side here. And ideally what the best thing to do is this uh, section here, just kind of pull it up so it's parallel with the top of the plate. And while just holding it down, grab the other end here and just pull it over. And you can, you can just do likewise on the other side. 
so what has happened here now is that you've uh, just locked the uh, the plate and the webbing together um, again it's just an extra layer of security if you feel like you need it so again this is not going to come out i mean realistically i would probably start tearing at the, either the fabric or the stitching here to get this thing out so now that we've got it installed onto our rig we just need to get uh, our phone into it so for that i'm just going to be using my own phone here uh, this is probably one of the most important pieces of this whole thing, and that's getting these two sections of Velcro or one section of the Velcro installed onto here uh, cleanly. Uh, we definitely suggest a dedicated case, um, you know, unless you just want to be walking around with a piece of Velcro stuck to the back of your phone all the time. But, um, you know, make sure the case you're using is at least semi-rigid or rigid and preferably with very minimal or no texturing on the back. Uh, that texturing can sometimes interfere with just how well this Velcro will stick to it. Uh, this 3M brand Velcro uh, is incredible stuff. It holds extremely well, but uh, you got to give it the best chance you can give it and having a nice clean surface to work on is the only way to go about it. So to start that process, I'm just gonna use some regular rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna clean up the back of this phone. And I am one of those guys, so I'm just gonna spray it twice. So now that I have a nice clean uh, phone, it's now just a matter of taking one of the two included pieces that you're gonna get and uh, you just want to, you know, it, comp or account for any types of cameras or speakers or any types of cutouts that you may have on your phone. Uh, but I'm just going to get this piece trimmed to length. So I'm just going to go here. And where's my scissors? Do, do, do. So I'm just going to cut the length here. Now, I would usually take more time, but just for the video and timing purposes, I'm just going to do this quickly. But I'm just going to look here. I'm happy with my length. Uh, now I just kind of want to address my camera. So I'm just going to go back in and just sort of snip out the opening. So I'm just going to verify what I've done here. Uh, so looking at this, I'm completely happy with what I've got. Uh, before I go ahead and install this, uh, vitally important that you go back in with your pair of scissors and just address these corners. Um, anytime this adhesive back Velcro wants to come off, it is always going to start in the corners. So if you just snip them, uh, that will just uh, eliminate the possibility of things sort of start uh, you know, trying to lift it for you. So any corners that you have, depending on how you've cut this out, just simply snip them off. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of pulling back on the backing here and getting the thing put on. Now, you kind of want to treat this like one of those screen protectors you use on your phone. And if you've ever tried to install one, you know that if you don't get it right the first time, it's pretty much junk. It will uh, never really stick 100%. Chances are you're going to get air bubbles underneath or some type of uh, dust. Uh, so when you peel it off, just don't touch the surface if you can help it. And don't sort of play that game of putting it on. Oh, I screwed it up. Take it off. Uh, screwed it up. You know, just take the time just to get it on there one time fast. Now, the, uh, the backing on here is actually really tricky to get off. That's just a testament of how well the adhesive works on these uh, pieces of Velcro. Now, I've already uh, pre-cut one and removed the backing. So this is it. So simply, I'm just going to kind of align it up how I thought I would got it cut out. Once I've got it on there, I'm just now going to go in and just rub it on, get some friction. That heat will help activate the... Um, the adhesive you just maybe want to do this for 30 seconds to a minute so once you've done that uh, at this point do not put it onto the foam board uh, you're going to want at least three or four hours to let the adhesive cure to your phone case the longer the better so definitely resist the urge to uh, put this on 
Uh, now, again, for the video, I'm going to break that cardinal rule and I am going to do it. So it's just a matter of putting that on. Now, this uh, Velcro is rated for uh, 10 pounds or four and a half kilos. Uh, what does that sort of relate to? Well, It just means it's going to stay on there really well. Um, but yeah, like I said, just make sure that you just give the uh, the Velcro time to cure on the back of the phone. And if you uh, do mess it up, that's why we've included another strip, just so you can go back in and do it again. I think I should cover everything on how to get this thing installed and set up. But if you got any other questions or concern, just leave something in the comment section or you can get a hold of us through Instagram or email. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for uh, watching.